We've been talking about blank blank, and now we're going to talk about more types of transports. So we've been talking about last few days passive transport, that's right, which does not require any blank. That's right, it doesn't take any energy, or on the half of the cell, it doesn't take any ATP. So there's several ty types of items that can go through, just as a review, by passive transport, can easily diffuse through the blank blank of a cell. That's right, through the cell membrane. You've got alcohols, gases, those go through very easily because both those molecules are very, very small. And it just in general, very, very small organic molecules, especially lipids. Very, very small lipids will go through very, very nicely. Anything that's oily will slip through there just really, really well. So those are the three things, different alcohols, different gases, right? Oxygen, CO2, that's actually how we're able to breathe as they can go through our cell membranes very easily, and organic molecules that are very small and not charged like lipids. However, as we've been discussing, this could be very blank for the cell. This could be very bad for the cell, yeah, or dangerous for the cell. There are two additional ways in which blanks may blank the cell blank. Two additional ways in which molecules may penetrate, although I don't like that one as much as permeate, the cell membrane. That's right. There's different ways. If the object is too large and we're still going to follow the concentration gradient, we could use a helped out form of diffusion. That helped out version is called facilitated diffusion. This requires the use of a blank blank and still follows the blank gradient. Requires use of a carrier protein. Here's a nice picture. Carrier protein. See, it's just a channel. And it's letting the molecules just flow right through. You can see this yellow thing, way too big to get through our phospholipid bilayer. It's not going to sneak all in between the phospholipids there. But instead, it'll find this nice channel to go through. Water is actually a type of facilitated diffusion. Right, we call it osmosis because it's water and everybody does it, but really it needs that channel. And anything that's really big is going to need that channel too. However, you'll notice we still have a high concentration here, lower concentration here, so molecules are still following their concentration gradient. There it is, still following the concentration gradient. And so you got a little bit of space. I'm going to show you a couple animations. Real life Patterson who came up here, go ahead and sketchify them. Sketchify them. So, if our cells need to move blanks against their concentration blank, if we need to move, we're always moving, not cells, but molecules. If we need to move molecules against the concentration gradient, right? Gradient. If we need to move molecules against the gradient, which way is that? That's from blank to blank. That's right, low to high, the way they don't want to go. Molecules don't naturally flow this way. So if we want to move them from low to high, that's going to require the use of, that's right, energy or ATP on behalf of the cell. And because the cell membrane is taking a more active role, expending ATP to make this happen, we call this active transport. That's right, active transport. Because it's, you know needing energy and whatnot. It requires a use for active transport, it requires the use of a blank blank embedded in the cell blank, it requires the use of transport protein this time. We're not carrying the molecules, we're transporting the molecules. So here we need to use a transport protein, as you can see here, and it uses energy. Again, we're moving things from where we have a lower concentration to where there's a higher concentration, like the picture is clearly is showing. See, there's the molecule, and they're moving to a higher concentration. Requires use of a transport protein to be embedded in the cell, mm -hmm, cell membrane. That's right. And we'll leave this picture up here. You got some space. Sketch it down there. If you're done with the sketching, you've got this area here. This different four different scenarios. Write FD if that scenario is describing facilitated diffusion. Write AT if that scenario is describing active transport. Questions? Ask that guy because I'm obviously not even in here today. Thanks for watching.